What is up everybody, Angel Dada here, and today I want to talk about an Instagram story post I did about the two lenses I will ever need. And of course those two lenses are going to be the 51.4 Sigma Art and the 135.18 Sigma Art, both email versions of course. Now a little quick disclaimer before I go on any further, this video is about my two favorite lenses, the lenses that I will only need. I'm not saying that anybody else should own these lenses. I'm not saying anybody else should only use these lenses. I'm just saying this is what I use, what I like for my style and my work. Okay, cool. So for this shoot, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to shoot any behind the scenes video. Um, unfortunately, when we got to the location, there were signs posted everywhere about uh, needing permits for shooting any, ton of, any type of um, video or photography and i didn't know that and uh there was no way i was going to get one in time uh we had about an hour to spare and so i just said screw it let's just go for it so i just carried just uh my, my bag uh and i took a chance and just took uh, a flash just my light stand 8200 and the pair of pop 38 okay so first off the 514 now I'm pretty sure you know about the 50 millimeter length already, but one of the reasons why I fell in love with it, of course, was the versatility. If you want to get that gorgeous background blur, you can get up close and just blow out that background. If you need a wide enough shot, you can just back up and you get just plenty of background. I know some people would prefer the 35, but for me it just gives me that little bit more compression, a little bit more background blur, and that, that just the look that I would prefer. Next up, the 135-18. Now back when I shot Nikon, 135 was my favorite focal length because it gave me that nice compression. It was just telephoto enough you know, to get the, the nice creamy, dreamy bokeh. Um, but it wasn't too far back so or, or I hadn't, didn't have to walk a mile down the street you know, to get the photo. When I switched to Sony, there just wasn't that very many 135 options. Uh, you can use the A-mount version with an adapter. But based on my experiences, adapted lenses just weren't for me. So the 50 millimeter, again, the versatility of it. There are just so many different looks that you can get with this one lens. And that's why it's my all rounder. Now for the 135, whenever I want to get that really compressed background, that really beautiful bokeh, this is the lens I'm going with. It is just a beautiful lens. You can just get some beautiful portraits with it. And sometimes I will use it for full body shots, but of course the only problem with it is you have to stand pretty far back but it just gives you a, a different kind of look with that compression okay so for the shoot so we get to this beautiful location it's like a woodsy kind of beachy vibe with uh with like sand and then the water the little creek and trees and stuff it was just amazing beautiful i loved it one of my favorite locations i've ever shot at so for this first set i really wanted to get uh engaged with the background so I started off with the 50, kind of get a better idea of the location. So this next set, which leads up to uh, one of my favorite images I've ever taken of all time. I'd actually mentioned earlier to my model, Samantha, that just jokingly, that if she didn't want to, she didn't have to get into the water. And uh, her immediate response was, yeah, I'm down. So I was like, well, they get in there. So for this first set in the water, I threw on the 50 again to really show off the background and just, amazing results i'm absolutely in love with this set her getting into the water just created that vibe where we kind of were going for like a, a lost in the woods type of look and it just blew my mind i mean as a photographer you kind of get those shots where you're just amazed you just can't believe that you captured you know these images and for for me these were those images now for the third set, we found a nice bunch of rocks and just had her sit on, threw on the 135 again, just to get more of those headshot portraits, beautiful results, really love what we got. Um, I did take a couple shots, stepped all the way back to get that full body, get that nice background compression. Now for the final set on the water, I just kept the 135 on because I was like, you know what? I have this lens, I'm just gonna use the hell out of it. And again, had to step way the hell back. We got some pretty amazing shots. So shout out to Samantha for being an amazing model, a new friend of mine. Um, of course, none of these images would have been possible without you. Can't wait to shoot together again soon. Any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And hope you guys enjoy. So don't forget, please like the video. If you do like, please subscribe if you don't already. 
Now for the rest of the video, we're just going to roll out a slideshow of the rest of the shoot, and I'll see you on the next one.